Hi, my name is Crystal Foote and I am a featured woman for the April 2024 issue of the Bold Maven magazine. Can you share a little about what you do? I'm the founder of Digital Culture Group. Digital Culture Group is an inclusive advertising technology company focused on reaching diverse and multicultural audiences at scale with authenticity. I attended the amazing St. John's University in Queens, New York, go Storm, and my major was business management with a concentration in integrated marketing strategies. When did you know that this was something you wanted to do? I knew I wanted to pursue a career in marketing when I saw Vivica A. Fox in Two Can Play That Game, and she was a marketing executive, and she looked fabulous, and she was a boss. And so from that moment on, I was like, let me do marketing. Can you take us through the journey of starting Digital Culture Group? Yes, so I've been in this industry for almost 20 years. And in a sales position for my former employers, I realized that my clients were really working because of the relationship that we had, and I could really work for any company, so why not work for myself? And so from there, I decided to start my own company, Digital Culture Group. And with that, I had the flexibility to really do whatever I seemed fit to make sure that we were really communicating the importance of inclusive advertising without any red tape, like you know some of the other companies I've worked with before with having to go through approval processes as well as procurement processes. You know, I was able to do it and really take the reins for my future. What has your experience been as a black woman in this industry? It's been very interesting. It's not too many black women in the advertising and marketing industry, especially in sales. So. Sometimes, you know, I get some type of feedback that's not really nice um, because of the way I look, because of my skin complexion. But, you know, for the most part, I've been receiving some really great uh, feedback from clients as well as prospects just based on my talent alone. And that's what's the most important. What excites you about this industry? It excites me that we're able to create advertising campaigns that really portray the best part of a brand that you really want to make sure that you're part of. I love that you can really be influential in making sure that we're reaching people and communicating what and why they should be part of this brand and the loyalty behind the brands as well from a consumer standpoint is really fascinating to learn about. In addition to Digital Culture Group, you also started the Digital Culture Innovation Center. Can you share with our audience the mission behind that organization? Yes, so with Digital Culture Group, we want to have a global impact and really spread the message of inclusive and diversity and unity across the globe. So with that, every dollar that an advertiser spend with us, we also donate a portion of that to making sure that we're educating students as well as adults and professionals about what we're doing from a global aspect. And so with the Digital Culture Innovation Center, we are creating computer labs at different public schools in different countries. So our first one starts in Liberia, West Africa, and we are making sure that those students have access to global learning from professors as well as business professionals in different countries. And they also have the opportunity to have internship opportunities with different organizations too. What motivates you to keep pushing in this industry? What motivates me is that because I am a black woman and I understand the struggles that I've had, you know, rising in the ranks of this industry, I want to make sure that we are communicating to professionals that there is a reason why DE&I exists and we hopefully can change the perspectives of those individuals so that way they can embrace it and implement that in their organizations as well. Outside of work, what brings you joy? My children bring me joy. My family brings me joy. Being with them, seeing them laugh and smile and have an amazing time is everything to me. And we always travel to different countries at least once a year, so that way they're exposed to different cultures and seeing their curiosity and seeing how much fun they have when they're learning about other cultures makes me so happy. Final question, is there anyone that you'd like to shout out? Yes, my amazing and supportive husband. He has been with me through thick and thin and has really been there with me trying to build this business and scaling it as fast as we did. 
So I'm really supportive of him. And at the end of the day, it is so important to make sure that your spouse is really there for you because if not, no one wins. Not you pursuing your passions and your dreams, not the children who are trying to understand why your parents and why their parent is always out on the road. And then the spouse just not really being in alignment. So at the end of the day, it's really important to make sure that everybody understands what you're trying to accomplish and they're all working together to make sure that happens. And of course, giving gratitude to them because at the end of the day, it takes a village, it takes a team, and it really takes unity to make this happen. To continue this conversation, you can read my story on theboldmaven.com. Make sure to subscribe to the Bold Maven newsletter to gain access to the digital magazine.